another opportunity to learn hi i'm the lapo of donnie crafties and um, i'll be showing you how to make a scarfinator or a turban yes or an auto cap whatever you want to call it using this um using the non stretchy fabric and this is satin shiny face i have two yards here i have my needle my stretch tape roll and then scissors and you can always embellish it whatever you want to embellish with so i'm going to cut what i need to make my base and i'll we'll continue from there the band we're making is the pleated the pleated v band yes it's the multi pleated v band and i have two pieces cut out okay this is for the band let's start with the band so that you understand it i have two pieces cut out these two pieces are the same measurement and each of them is about 14 inches by 17 inches that's 17 inches by 14 inches in two places so now let me work with one whatever i'm doing on this is what i'll be doing on the second one i have the right side of the fabric facing up so what i'll just do is to first of all fold in this part can fold it into two this way okay and i'm going to st stitch it down okay i'll just sew it like that before i proceed okay so now let's say i have folded this in and i have sewn you fold it twice and sew it to hide the rough edges i hope you get it okay so now having done that you are going to pleat i'll be making like four to five pleats right here so i'll pleat you know we have folded this in and we have sewn the edges so you now fold it in once again you know after folding it in this is what you're going to have like this okay you have the stitch here so you are going to fold it again to make sure that the stitch is covered do you understand like that all the way down then you sew like this all the way down after you sew you pick the next pleat on it just like you make an auto gilly base if you know how to make an auto gilly base you understand this part better so this pleat is going to cover the stitch we have here okay i'm going to create another one the third one and you're going to sew you sew the second one first before you create the third one so if you do the third one make sure that this one covers the stitch on the second one okay and you're going to sew like that i'll pick the next one this is going to be the fourth one like that and i'm going to say if you want the fifth one you can go ahead and do the fifth one like this and we're going to sew all the way down so i'm going to do that on the second piece as well i'll take it to my sewing machine and sew and i'll be back to show you the next step all right now i've sewn my pleats as you can see okay i folded this one in folded this over it that's after i folded the edges twice i folded it in i stitched for the next one i stitched okay for the third one i stitched like that so make sure that the stitch, the stitch is not visible from the outside okay you see so i have it in two places okay so now we're going to be forming our v band and we're going to place it like this v v okay Like you're making a V. So make sure that this one is touching here and this one is touching here. Okay, and we're going to stitch this way. But when you're stitching, please do a curve. You do a curve when you're stitching. You're not going to stitch like this. Please make sure that this is touching this part and make sure that this one is touching this part. Now, I've joined both um, pieces together as you can see like i explained i did a curve look at my stitch here i did a curve here okay now i'm going to get the piece for the body of the turban i'll just keep this aside for the meantime continue when it's time so i have the body of the turban using the length that's the extra conference part of the body of the turban so the extra conference of the body of the turban is going to be 20 I'll make it 26 inches yeah so that it can fit to be able to fit any head size between 25 to 26 inches is fine 26 inches 
by 16 inches. After joining the band and the body of the turban together, I may decide to reduce the depth of the turban. But let me just start with this. I'm having 16 inches length here, and I'm having 25 inches, I mean 26 inches in circumference or width. Okay, so I'm going to just cut this one off. I already have some markings on this piece, I will explain. I, I don't want to use it plain as it is, I just want to have some kind of body pleats. You can skip this part, I want to explain now. Okay, so like I said earlier, this is 16 inches and this is 26 inches. Now, I marked half an inch away from the edge. This is going to be where the body of the turban and the band will be joined together. Okay, now I'm going to be doing three pleats marking. I marked three inches. The next one is also three inches. The next is three inches and the next is three inches. I'll do that on this side. I'll do that on this side and I'll join my lines together so we can have a straight line. So I've marked the three inches on this side, on this side as well, and I connected the lines as you can see. Like I said earlier, this part is actually optional. I just want my body, the body of my turban to look a little bit different from the regular. Okay, so I'm going to skip this line. You know, I'm marking on the wrong side. So um, I skip this line and I pick this, this way. And I'm going to stitch by a quarter inch like this down. After that, I pick the next one and do the same and sew by a quarter inch all the way down. I pick the next one, I do the same, I pick this one and I do the same, right? Okay, so this is the body of my turban that I have, have sewn as explained and this is the right side as you can see. Alright, so you know I did 3 inches distance. That's three inches markings on my fabric. It could actually be lesser than that. It could be 2.5 inches. It could be two. It could be one. It could even be half. It could even be half an inch. It depends on how you want it, okay? I just want mine this way. Like I said, you can as well skip the part and just go ahead with your piece as plain as it is. Okay, now I'm going to be joining my body to the band. So I have the band like this. The right side is facing up. And I'm going to fold the body into two and notch to get the center. So this is the center. And I'll fold this into two as well. Notch to get the center. So this is going to be the center. Now I'm going to place this over this way and I'm going to join the center to center. I'm going to make sure that this stitch on the band is covered while I'm joining. So I'm placing this like this. This is the stitch here. I'm going to place like that all the way down and I'll be sewing away from the, this is the stitch. I'll sew it inward away from the inch. So by the time we open it up, that stitch will not be showing. I hope you get me. So I'll do that like this all the way down. I come to this side. I just follow the curve like that. Do that. Like that all the way down. Please make sure you're sewing away from the stitch inward. That's this way. This is where the stitch is. You're sewing away from the stitch here so that it doesn't show. Okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and sew and I'll be back to show you the next step. I've joined the body to the band. As you can see, and um, I'll just trim off the excess here. I'll do the same here. Okay, then I'm going to turn it like this. Remember, we did some joinings here, and we have these excesses here. I'm going to trim them off. So that it doesn't, um, so it's relax well, and at the same time, that, this part of the toba will not be too swollen or heavy on the edge. So I'll just follow that curve like that and trim off the excess. So 
So after trimming off the excess, the next step is to take it to a weaving machine. You can just weave the edges, the industrial machine or the regular manual machine or a serger. Okay, so, so that's the edges, just weave the edges like that before you proceed. But just for the purpose of this training, I'll continue with this next step. So that way, this part of your cap will relax well. Okay, to relax well. So, when I measured, what I have all together with the band is about 15 inches. I have 15 inches, which is fine. So if you want to reduce yours, you can reduce to 14. But it's better this way because material does not stretch. So it's, uh, I have that and now I'm going to fold it this way. Just hold it down with my needle or pin. Now I'm going to do a curve. Just like we make a turban. So I'm going to stitch from here like this all the way down. Okay, then we're going to weave the edges as well if you are to make it for a client. Or it's even better for neat finish people. Just don't forget to weave the edges. Okay, my cup is ready as you can see and uh, you know we're just going to gather this part like this but before then I want to attach the undo before we proceed to the design okay I have to persist and the measurement is 10 inches length 10 inches by 4.5 okay and um, I just bring them together like this and I'll do a curve here So I'm going to take each of this piece. You should know how to make and handle if you're participating in my class, okay? So just fold it in like this. Fold into two. Then you sew like that all the way down. The same thing with this one. Now I've sewn my handles and I'm going to just turn the right side out. So these are handles for tying and I'll turn the right side of the cap out and I'm going to measure from here to here 2 inches, from here to here 2 inches, from here to here 2 inches and I stitch my one hand here and I stitch the other hand here this way so I'll be back after which I'm going to run my stitches that's after I've attached my hand I'll run my loose stitches from here i just gather it like this from here to here okay i will tack and our cap will be ready this is the back and this is the front